Um, okay, so today is the last uh, video in the series of video that we did this week about acting during COVID. And we'll be doing some Q and A's. So if you have some questions about um, doing this work, if you have some questions about any of the videos that we did um, this week, let me know. Um, I've written some down already that we've received from you guys, but if you have any more questions that are coming live, I'll definitely answer them. And as you guys are all getting on the live, I'm just going to do a quick little recap of what we covered this week. Um, basically, um, if you've been catching yourself feeling really stuck, uh, feeling like the industry is not going anywhere, it's COVID, there's nothing we can do, and so I'm not going to be able to make any money right now. I'm not going to be able to book anything right now. So my level of passion went down. I feel a little bit lost. Um, uh, like if you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling powerless over what's happening, it's understandable that you could have this type of reaction because there is kind of something global happening, right? And at the same time, what I invited you to do was to um, shift your perception into looking at, rather than the problem, the opportunity that is actually arising. And we've talked with some actors from our community who are doing extraordinary projects right now, booking extraordinary things, creating new types of projects. Um, I was talking to two or three people this morning. I took some notes because like it's it's endless. Where is it? I don't even know. Um, I'll try to remember. Um, so Susanna told me just before, so that she went to a workshop. She's been really taking the dive of working deeply on her instrument during this COVID period. She went to a workshop and the casting director was, was kind of upset telling her, how do we not know you? How do, how do we only know you now? And she just got a call after a couple uh, days from the uh, workshop offering her apart from that casting director, not even asking her to, you know, to have a casting for it because they fell in love with her, just asking her if she would dye her hair for them. So changing a part for her. Um, another actress yesterday that I was interviewing was telling me that she also auditioned for um, another project while she was doing her reset this month during COVID. And, um, that they wanted her so bad they couldn't put her in the role that they wanted because it was another you know like a name actress that they needed to have there but they loved her so much that they didn't want to let her go so there was a role for a 70 year old man that they changed and rewrote for her this is happening all the time so again the purpose of these lives this week has been to really make you pay attention to your mindset right so the mindset of being um, into a position of, I'm a victim of what's happening, there is nothing I can do. It's not that it's good or bad, it's not that it's right or wrong, but it's just a result of your conditioning, right? It is a fact that COVID is happening. It is a fact that the industry is not functioning like it used to. It is a fact that productions mostly, not everywhere, but mostly are closed down. But it's also a fact that some actors are working, that you can do something about it, that you can deepen your practice, that you can work on your instrument to be present for what's coming, for what's already there, that you can work on your material, that you can uh, book, you know, get new representation, that you can renew your headshots, that you can get ready for the big stuff that's going to come your way today, tomorrow, or in a month. No one knows. And since no one knows, now more than ever, you want to make sure that the one thing that you do know and can control means your capacity to be unresistant, unstuck, but to really be there, be presence, present with whatever is there, to go with the flow, to go with the casting at the last minute, to learn your lines in an hour, to really be able to bring it on. Like the casting director who was in our session, the th second session, um was saying like the since there's no more contact in the room there's not that magic relationship happening in that chemistry the only thing we need in that self-tape the only thing that will shine through is not 
you know, your positioning, your light, and your technical skills with a self-tape. The only thing that's going to happen, and that's going to matter, and that's going to make you shine and make you stand out is your capacity to be authentically there, fully present, fully alive, fully instinctive, okay? So um, the way we get you from that place of fear and that place of block to that place of utter freedom uh, in the work we do is with the 33-day um, reset journey from resistance to freedom. And I went over that yesterday and explained you know how the journey works it's 33 days you have some um, material that you need to go through every day you need to do a lot of exercises every day and um, at the end of the journey you have spent your time unwiring and unlearning all the conditioning and the resistance to leave room and to rediscover and remuscle your instinct in your freedom so that's the work we do in the reset journey I also said that we're going to open our shopping cart until Friday midnight and we're going to be looking for five people to enroll and we want people who are ready to jump right on because we want people who are devoted, committed, passionate, who are going to do this work and not quit in the middle because it does happen that people quit in the middle and we're not saying that's wrong but we, we want you to have the value for your money, right? So we want the people who can do this work, will do this work we'll use the resources that we're giving you so that you can have a bigger impact stories are needed now more than ever money is poured into the entertainment industry now more than ever because we need content and we need the kind of content that makes a difference human beings are now craving for storytelling that will move the needle that will you know make us feel like we're capable of more the world is changing in front of our eyes and we need truth we need freedom we need you right so looking for five people if you're one of these persons let us know in the comment just write reset and we'll get in touch with you so that you can start doing this work so what are the questions that i have received uh, let me see if i have um some questions here victoria what are the top mistakes that people do in auditions so the biggest mistake, um, Victoria, that people make in auditions is to try to be good. And the second you're trying to be good, you're taking care of your ego and you're not doing your job, which is to actually be the character. When you're present to what's happening with your instrument and to the character's needs, you're actually paying attention to your job description, which is to be that character who wants something and who's trying to get it. That's what you need to be doing in an audition. And when you're thinking about doing it right, when you're thinking about looking good and being good and being confident, all of those things are going to prevent you from actually paying attention to what you're doing. When you're trying to be good, you're trying to be right, you're trying to, um, you know, charm the casting directors, basically you're acting like a, a carpet salesman. You're trying to sell your stuff. You're not in the moment. You're trying to influence the future. And if you're in the future and you're trying to be good and you're trying to be right, which don't even exist, well, you're not, you're not your character. You're not living their circumstances, trying to get that thing that they want. You're trying to get the thing that you want, a booking, a paycheck. And that is so stinky in a room or so stinky on a self-tape. People know that you're doing that. And, and no matter how great you are at it, right? You can be a very good actor and be really skilled and you'll never be alive when you do that. So that's the biggest mistake. Um, and of course, when we do the work in the reset journey, we never even talk about acting because we want to undo all that because it's wired into your system. So it's not about you understanding that this makes sense and then going, okay, from now on, I'm not going to do that. You'll be incapable of not doing that. It's wired into you. You've been wired to please, to be good, to be right by your family, your education, the school system, the structure, the, the culture, sorry. So we're unwiring that out of your system in the reset journey. And then this space for your instinct and for the real you to come back up and we muscle that up so that when you get in the room, there's no space to think about your ego. You're busy with something else, okay? 
All right, so let me look at the um, um, next question. Um, okay, that's someone who is in the reset journey. So Eliane, if you're in the reset journey, you need to go in the reset journey group because this is a group for people who are um, not doing the reset journey. So you'll get your coaching in there. Let me look on Instagram right now. Um, and then I'll get to the questions that were sent before. Okay, no questions so much. Okay, the reset journey is, um, Pedro is asking, how much is the reset journey? We'll send you um, a link to um, the webpage so you can have all the information, Pedro. But basically this different ways to go about the reset journey. So for the moment, we have a BOGO support um, during COVID. So for the moment, you're paying 50%. The original price is $795. And right now, if you come in with a friend, you'll pay half of that. We also have payment plans, so you can spread the payments to the journey, or um, you can pay in full, which is a little bit cheaper. Um, what else? This is for the price. Okay, so let me look at the list of questions. Okay, um, someone was asking, is this live in a Zoom or is it a recording? So it's all recorded, so which means that you can really take this wherever you want and do it in your own time, which is crucial because one of the main challenges that people will face when they're doing a regular training like that, which involves working on resistance, which is pretty challenging, is that you'll wanna quit. And you'll find excuses like, oh, I didn't have time or I couldn't do it at that time. I couldn't, I couldn't come. I couldn't show up, right? So, for example, this journey would never happen if we were in person in a room because no one would come 33 days in a row. Everyone would have a reason not to come. However, because it's recorded and it's not me teaching you anything, so it's never me sitting down like right now lecturing you, not at all. That would be the most boring thing and it would be not valuable at all for you. What it is, is that you are doing exercises during one hour a day, half an hour to work on your resistance, half an hour to work on your freedom every single day. And yes, you can have that on your phone. You can do that in the bathroom. You can do that in a car. You can do that. I mean, I see videos inside of our group of people filming themselves everywhere. So literally I've seen people in trains, on bikes, cars driving and doing the exercises at home, in a bedroom, in a bathroom, under the shower, anywhere you want. So it's extremely convenient and kind of makes sure that you don't use any time excuse or couldn't do it excuse because you can do it everywhere. So when you travel, you take it with you. You don't need to stop. Um, a lot of people are asking about English. So it's a very international community. Um, the, the, so you have one platform where your your program is where the reset journey is where you go and take the exercises with the video so you don't watch the video and then do the exercises you do them with us as if you were in the room with us because there's some actors there then you have a face a private facebook group where the whole reset community is busy doing their exercises and their homework and it's an extremely supportive community and it's very international. So a lot of people do not speak English with the same accent you do or I do or even, you know, stutter or are challenged to speak English, but they can do their exercises in any language. So, I mean, we have people from around the globe, right? Which is really fun because you can see the common humanity and yet the cultures are very different, but we all feel like humans. And so you can do your exercises in your own language. So English is really not a barrier. If you understand what I'm talking about now, which is much more complex than what I do in the reset journey, because basically I'm explaining exercises, you can do this in English. Um, uh, we've talked about the traveling, about the payment plans. All right, a lot of people are feeling anxiety right now, which I understand, and it's very difficult you know, to make a decision when you're feeling anxious. So I would suggest watching this series of videos again, because we're explaining why you're feeling anxiety and what you can do about it. Um, and yes, we're definitely addressing anxiety. So there's so many people in our group who are reporting back during their journey saying, 
oh my God, I've been taking anxiety pills for I don't know how many years. I've stopped taking them. Depression pills, I've stopped taking them. Asthma pills, I've stopped, I've stopped having asthma and stopped taking my medication. So all sorts of conditions, recurring conditions where people have seen, I don't know how many doctors and for how many years have been suffering with something. And then you realign your instrument. It, it really doesn't just affect your acting. I would say acting is an equal piece to everything else that the reset journey will affect. Because inevitably, if you're working through the conditioning that prevents you from being instinctive and free, well, you're going to be completely aligned, right? It's like your instrument is going to work. When it's working, it self heals because you're meant to self heal. Just like when you cut yourself, you self heal. You don't need a doctor to take care of it. You don't need a pill. Your skin will make new skin. Your cells are making new cells all the time. So when you're aligned and you're no longer dependent and submissive to an external authority that doesn't work for you, well, then everything comes into place and everything heals. Um, so yes, you can join with anxiety and it definitely will help. Um, are there some live sessions? Yes, you have access to me. Um, you have two Q and A's with me. Once you're in the group, you can stay forever. So you can always join the Q and A's. You can ask, you know, the two sessions that you have, and then you're always invited to join. The um, Facebook group has my team of coaches in there 24 seven. So you'll never be left alone stuck with something because there's always a coach there to help you. There are some Zoom sessions in between participants to do some specific exercises. So you won't be on your own. Um, their Zoom sessions are organized regularly between participants and you can generate them yourself too. Um, can you do this if you're working? Absolutely. Most of the people are working there as actors or as side jobs. And um, you, since you can schedule when you do this in your own time, it's always working. Um, do you need space to do the exercises? No. Uh, I think a bathroom would be enough. But um, yeah, as long as you have, you can sometimes people do it outdoors. So wherever you can be, you can do those exercises. Um, all right, so some people are asking about, um, are concerned about what happens with direction or with character needs when you're really instinctive. So um, sometimes when you don't really know what your instinct is capable, you might think instinct is just an impulse. And you might think, well, when I'm instinctive and free, I'm always kind of bubbly and funny, for example. But what if it's a dramatic character? How do I go there? And you're only saying that because actually you have no real access to everything your instinct can be. Once you touch your real freedom and instinct, what you will have access to is what people call oneness, being everything uh, and nothing at the same time, like really being everything. So your instinct is not an impulse. It's not a personality. It's way beyond that. It's a zone that you sometimes maybe have touched when you're in the zone and you feel like, oof, everything is possible. You can go anywhere. You can cry and yell and laugh at the same time. That's freedom. And we train you to be reliable inside of that freedom. We put pressure on you inside of that freedom so that you can stay in that zone. And it's not something that falls on you and you got lucky and you were in the zone. No, it's something that you create an access to and that you muscle so that you can rely on it. Once you have that, it's just, you know, like the energy that you go into and you can go into and feel sad today. And because you're with your sadness, you can take it and take it to humor if you have to, if you want to. So it's really not a specific thing to be instinctive. It's being everything. It's the oneness or the universality that some people talk about. That's the feeling. And when you have that going on, you can go anywhere you want and you can follow direction. Um, the type of exercises people are asking, and sometimes I often actually hear people saying, but uh, this makes sense, it resonates, I really want to do this, but I really want to get a taste of the exercises. And the reason I don't give you taste of the exercises is because I don't want to lie to you. 
It would be like putting a Band-Aid on a bleeding, bleeding wound. It wouldn't do anything. Freedom is not something that you get when you Google it online, right? It's not a series of tricks and tips and even exercises. The reset journey is designed very specifically, it's very granular in a sequence of exercises that layer by layer coming from different angles is working through your conditioning and your resistance so that little by little you can step back into your instinct and little by little you can wake it up and then make it fly. So it's not like, okay, try this, got it? No, it's a little bit like if you want to do a trip to India because it you heard it's life-changing and it is and you want to get a taste before you don't transformation is not something you taste transformation is something you do right so i'm not going to give you anything it's something you are going to put yourself through it's not a course it's a journey so you're going to self put yourself through a series of exercises that are layer by layer going to get you back to the real version of you the free, empowered, instinctive, responsible, empowered and creative version of you. I probably repeated what I had to say six times, which is fine. Um, so the type of exercises that we're doing goes from anything from breath work, kinetic, cathartic, there's some acting exercises, but totally revisited in the perspective that we're taking in the reset journey. There's a lot of body work, voice work, um, written work, um, this, the list is endless. There's 33 days of different exercises. So, um, no, you cannot taste them. And yes, you do get a refund policy. If you do the journey and if you do the work, and if you don't get the results, you do get a refund and no one's ever asked for a refund because if you do the work, you get to that incredible you that you know, you are sitting under that resistance. So, I'm not selling you anything. I'm not selling you my wisdom or my authority on anything. This is a process that's been tested and works. It's the most radical tools out there. And do you have to be in there to do it? Yes, I'm not, I cannot take a piece out to convince you. I don't want to convince you. If this resonates, if this makes sense for you, that you have a true self inside and that you're ready to get it back. You will get it back. It's guaranteed. And if you don't and you do the work, you'll get your money back. So there, there's no risk, but we do want you to join this only if you feel, yes, this is what I've been looking for. I want my true self back. I want my free self back. I'm ready to make it happen. If you're not in that space, you shouldn't do this. If you're feeling like, smaller than your circumstances, if you're not seeing that there's opportunities that depend on you, that it's all based on your perception and your conditioning, then you shouldn't join this. Join this if it makes sense. Um, what else? Yes, yeah, some people are um, asking about time and saying it's not the right time, I, I, maybe later. And, and sometimes I see that and then I see people come back and come back and it's never the right time, right? It's like, it's never the right time to do a diet because you don't want to do it. But you know that the day you'll do it, it will impact everything, your relationship to yourself, to your partner, to others, to your work, your self-worth, everything, right? So this is a little bit the same thing. There's no such thing as I don't have enough time for myself. If you are in a place where you're thinking, I have so much to do that I don't have enough time, I don't have an hour a day for me, and I know this is exactly what I need, then stop everything and sign up. Because your, you, the real you, the true you, the free you, impacts, <laughs> impacts everything you do, not just your acting. So if you're overwhelmed with too many things to do, it means you're not making decisions from a place of freedom and instinct. It means you're getting into some things for pleasing, for doing it right, and therefore those things take forever. You're procrastinating, you're lazy, you're piling things on top of each other, and you end up you know, with a, a to-do list that's never ending. So if that's where you are, you don't have a time problem. 
you have an issue with how you make those decisions with being you being able to make decisions from a place of being grounded authentic and free and if you're stuck in your obligations and the people pleasing and doing it right doing it good hard work inevitably you'll feel like you don't have enough time but that's not the truth if that makes sense um uh, yes, money is sometimes uh, something that people talk about. They say, I really want to do this, but I don't have the money. And, you know, if there's right now no money on your bank account, you really need to make sure that you um, make the money to feed yourself. And that's totally understandable. Sometimes people are in a position where they're hesitating to invest. And it's understandable, you should ask yourself, should I invest? Should I take this from my savings? Or should I borrow? Or should I ask a friend? There's so many people in our community that said, I didn't have the money, but I found it. I made it happen, I asked. And I'm so glad I did it because what I'm getting out is limitless fold what I put in. So not just in terms of the money you make back from the creative ideas and the work you find, but from the extraordinary reset you the real you the true you that's worth all the money in the world so when i ask people and they finish they reset i say so how much is this program worth if i wanted to buy it back from you and they usually say oh no 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 i'm not selling it not for a million not for nothing because you are the most beautiful thing you have and if you are not a hundred percent you have no you, so you have half a life. In order to have your life work, and not just the acting life, but all of it, but we are talking mostly to, to actors right now, but it affects everything. You, you need the 100% of you, then everything changes, right? So if you know this is for you, and you want to make the investment, but you're having doubts because you're not sure that financially it's the right decision, Think mathematically, like I was saying, if I'm selling you a Tesla for 500, you'll, you'll find the money because you know you can sell it for much more. You want to have the same logic here. If I'm going to sell you now a journey that will give you back the you that can do anything, put that money down because you're going to get way more out of it. So I hope that makes sense. Um, and it's fine if it doesn't, right? It's fine if you say, no, right now it's not the right moment, we have a wait list, you'll get on the right wait list if there's really no money, you want, you need to feed yourself, right? Um, but if you are want, wanting to be um, to jump because you have an impulse and you have an instinct that says, this is right for me, I'm going to make it work, yeah, you're not alone. A lot of people are in this group and found the resources, made it happen because they knew it would bring them back more.